Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be talking to you about eggs. First, how many of you can remember this commercial? I love eggs from my head down to my legs. Scrambled or fried with my family or the guys. I love eggs. Breakfast on the road. latest news about eggs and cholesterol right for our booklet eggs and good health Ooh, you gotta love it the incredible edible egg i love eggs in this video i'll be discussing nutritional benefits of egg consumption where eggs come from the types of eggs currently on the market storage and then of course, I'll share some recipes and cook some eggs. This video will serve as the first of a four-part series. This first video is an informational video all about eggs. And the following three episodes, I'll be cooking a dish highlighting eggs as the main ingredient. So let's get started. Hopefully I don't fuck this up. dietary protein, fat, and a whole bunch of other great vitamins and minerals. Eggs are literally full of the building blocks of life. Eggs are full of essential fatty acids, protein, and other critical nutrients at levels above or comparable to those found in other animal sourced products. And they tend to be more affordable than most protein sources, which is great for those of you who want to steer your diets in a more healthy pattern. And also great for those low on funds for groceries or those on food assistance program. Who doesn't love to eat well and save money? I know I do. Eggs are one of my favorite ingredients. Aside from a short period in history where eggs were considered too high of, of dietary cholesterol, in the late 70s, there has been a plethora of research disproving dietary cholesterol's impact on serum lipids. That is cholesterol measured in the blood. The biggest impact on lipid cholesterol and negative impacts on LDL, which is the bad cholesterol, comes from a combination of dietary fats and types of carbohydrates consumed. For more information on dietary cholesterol and its impact on blood serum levels, please take a look in the description below. I've gathered quite a few good quality science papers for you to take a look at. Eggs have been a symbol of life, hope, and promise in works of art for centuries. In Asian cultures, eggs are the symbol of luck and wealth. Eggs have been used as symbolism and art from everybody from Da Vinci to Dolly. In the art world, temper paint is a permanent fast drying medium made from the yolks of eggs traditionally. Now we'll go on to the nutritional benefits of eggs. One egg has 75 calories, 7 grams of protein, 5 grams of fat, and 1.6 grams of saturated fat. The egg is a powerhouse of disease-fighting nutrients like lutein and this word that I do not know how to pronounce, which assists in maintaining good vision and also may help reduce the risk of age-related eye diseases such as cataracts and macular degeneration. Eggs also contain iron, which carries oxygen to the cells and helps prevent anemia. Vitamin A, which helps maintain healthy skin and eye tissue, as well as assists in night vision and helps maintain the normal functioning of the immune system. Vitamin D, which strengthens bones and teeth, assists with the absorption of calcium and phosphorus in the body, may help against 
certain cancers and autoimmune disorders, assists in the normal function of muscles, and assists in the normal function of immune systems. Vitamin E, which is an antioxidant that plays a role in good health and preventing disease. Vitamin B12, which helps the body's nerve and blood cells stay healthy, protects against a type of anemia, and contributes to the normal function of the nerve and immune system. Eggs also contain folate, which helps produce and maintain new cells, contributes to normal function of blood formation, and normal functioning of the immune system. Folate also helps prevent anemia and helps prevent against serious birth defects if taken prior to pregnancy and during the first three months of pregnancy. Eggs are a great source of protein, which is essential for building and maintaining muscles, organs, skin, hair, and other bodily tissues. Protein is needed to produce hormones, enzymes, and antibodies. The protein in eggs is easily absorbed by the body. An egg is actually considered a complete protein. Eggs also contain selenium. Selenium works with vitamin E to help prevent the breakdown of body tissue. And finally, eggs contain choline. Choline plays a strong role in the development of the brain and contributes to normal fat metabolism and liver function. So as you can see, Eggs are full of a whole lot of good stuff. Eggs come from chickens, but they also come from a variety of other animals. Eggs are laid by female animals of a variety of different species, and they include birds, reptiles, amphibians, and even a few mammals, which include the duckbill platypus, spiny anteater. Despite that their eggs come from all sorts of animals and are probably edible from different animals. Today I'm just going to focus on chicken eggs. But duck eggs and other poultry eggs are just as nutritious as chicken eggs. Chicken eggs come from the female chicken called the hen. The male chicken is called the rooster. In most cases the eggs are unfertilized and do not develop into a chick without the assistance of a rooster. Commercial egg producers do not mix roosters with hens, there is very little chance you will intercept an egg at any stage of fetal development. Now if you buy your eggs direct from a farm source, there probably is a chance, however very unlikely. The parts of the egg are as follows. The shell, chalaza, the albumin, the membrane, the thetellin membrane, the blastodis, the yolk, and the air cell. It's important to note that the yolk of the egg is the primary source of all the vitamins and nutrients in the egg. The egg whites are high in protein, but do not contain the same amount of nutrients as the egg yolk. Chicken eggs actually come in a variety of colors and not just white and brown. They come in light pink and light blue and light green. Next I'm moving on to types of eggs and this is uh, ranging from your standard store-bought egg to pasture-raised eggs to vegetarian eggs and everything in between. Please note that these are classifications in the United States and in European countries and Canada and everywhere else, classifications of eggs may be different based on their branch of government like our USDA. So when I talk about the types of eggs available, this is going to be talking about the living conditions of the chickens which these eggs actually come from. The first type is the standard white or brown. These hens are kept in tight cages and are unable to roam or often unable to move their wings in the cages. They're generally packed tightly and in conditions that some may view as inhumane. There are uh, two links in the description to videos on YouTube highlighting the living conditions of hens who provide the standard brown or white eggs for most commercial uses. Please note that they are hard to watch um, so consider this a disclaimer. The second type of egg is a cage-free egg. Cage-free hens are not kept in cages. They're free to roam around in a pen. These chickens are kept in hen houses, often still in cramped conditions, 
and may or may not have access to outdoors and pastures. They are considered a step better than the standard commercial egg. The third type is a free range egg. Free range is a slightly ambiguous term when regulated by the USDA and simply means that the chickens must have access to the outdoors. Depending on the source of your egg provider making this claim, it's worth to do some research on the living conditions of their free range chickens as some larger companies may do the least required by law to justify this claim. For instance, smaller producers may have fields for their chickens whereas some producers may simply provide them a door or window to a paved or gravel space. The fourth type of egg is the pasture raised. These hens tend to come from small farms where the hens are free to roam about and forage and be normal, happy, healthy chickens. The fifth type of egg, and probably the most important, possibly the best type of egg, is the organic egg. Organic is the only label on eggs that is required to follow regulations and is enforced by inspection. These hens are required to be fed certified organic feed containing no synth synthetic chemicals, irradiation, sewer sludge, or genetically modified ingredients. So based on these first few descriptions, I'd have to say that the best egg is probably the organic pasture raised egg. There are two other types of eggs. One is the omega-3 enriched egg. These hens have been fed supplements or a diet high in omega-3 fatty acids, which may contain flaxseed oil, linseed oil, and kelp. These eggs, as with pasture-raised eggs, usually have a much more bright orange color than those raised in other conditions and that are fed lesser quality diets. The final type is a vegetarian egg, and these hens are free to eat whatever they naturally eat, which includes worms and insects and whatever they can find to eat in the wild. Chickens are omnivorous, so this designation does not mean they are not eating animal protein. It simply means that their diet is not being supplemented with meat, fish, or animal byproducts in the feed that may be supplied by the farmer. And then the final is the processed egg, which is used primarily for, for, for food services. And I'm gonna say that you probably don't know where processed eggs are coming from unless they're designated on the package. So if you are eating in a restaurant, if they're not telling you where the eggs are coming from, they are likely coming from a standard egg supplier. Next, we're moving on to appropriate storage for eggs. And you would think this would be easy, but it's actually a little nuanced. One thing to note that American eggs are pasteurized and European eggs are not pasteurized. Pasteurization is a form of heating used to kill potential bacteria on the surface of the egg and in the process strips the cuticle that acts as a natural protectant against bacteria. If an egg is unpasteurized and is refrigerated, with the cuticle intact, mildew growth and contamination is a risk. Therefore, many countries that do not pasteurize their eggs also do not refrigerate them. When I was living in England, I, for a very short period of about eight years ago, I thought it was very weird to go into the grocery stores and to see eggs sitting out on the shelves like any other box or processed items, but I was reassured that they were absolutely safe to eat and I've never gotten sick from eating an egg uh, in Europe. To be fair, I've never gotten sick from eating an egg in the United States either, or Canada. The following ways are the best ways to store eggs. If your eggs are raw, you should store it in the original container up to three to four weeks at 40 degrees Fahrenheit or less, but not obviously to the point of freezing. If you have hard cooked eggs, they should be cooled before refrigeration and they are good in the fridge for up to one week. Leftover egg dishes can be refrigerated three to four days. Here's a food safety tip. Never put hot food in the refrigerator. Always let it cool to room temperature on the counter before wrapping it and putting it into either the fridge or the freezer. By putting it into the fridge or the freezer, you raise the temperature of the fridge or freezer and put everything in the fridge and freezer at risk of going bad. Leftover egg whites can actually be put into a container and froze for up to one year. 
to be used in baking in the future. If you want to store whole eggs, crack the eggs into a container and whisk them. And then they can be stored also for up to one year. There are a few substitutes on the market for eggs, but they probably don't contain the same amount of nutrients or health benefits as a whole egg. There are powdered products which store really well and they can be used in baking. There are liquid replacers that you can get in the store. There are also vegan and vegetarian versions of eggs that you can get. Oftentimes the ingredients in them uh, contains at least some part of some type of oil. For vegan egg replacements in baking, please see in the description. I've compiled a list of different ways that you can replace eggs in baking. This also will work if you don't happen to have eggs on hand and you feel like you want to bake something. I think that's all the information I have on eggs for today. I'll probably drop some other info in the following three videos where I'll be making egg-centric dishes. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope you've actually learned something. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe so that you can uh, be alerted on the next three egg videos that I'll be dropping. It's gonna be two savory dishes and one sweet dish. Share if you think somebody would like this video. And as always, have a wonderful day. Woohoo! Eggs are literally full of the building blocks of life.